it's Friday. So you guys know what that means. It's official. It's Friday. I'm uploading every Friday like I said I would. It's your girl Renee, Seattle MUA Renee on Instagram. I'll leave a link below. Before I get started, you might want to check out my last video. I'll insert a clip in a little bit of what it is, and then you'll really want to go check it out. But first, you guys asked me to do this. This is um, kind of becoming a thing where I review things, and I'm noticing that it's kind of a problem in the sense of I am purchasing these things with my own money. I'm not fortunate fortunate enough to have been sent these items for review. Therefore, I get them, if not when you guys get them, but sometimes even later if I can't afford to get it right away. But you guys wanted to see this foundation review. So we are going to be talking about and we're going to be checking in throughout the day the Too Faced 24 Hour Born This Way Matte 24 Hours. Now, I'm not going to wear this 24 hours. But if you have, let me know how it wears after 24 hours. I would be actually very curious. But apparently out of, that's not a whole lot. 107 people tested this. And the claims are 99%. Oh, I don't read that language. Let me turn it over where I speak this language. 99% said that this foundation blurs away imperfections. 96% said this foundation feels weightless. 93% said undetectable. Eh, I don't know. And 92% said does not require touch-ups. 92% does not require touch-ups, ever? I mean, I know it's tested for 24 hours. Your skin, save your face. Hair's getting really long again. And yes, I'm wearing a sequiny top with bright blue eyeshadow because I don't give a shit. And I felt like wearing it. It would be good to do a review and wear test, give you guys my opinion, and also check in throughout the day. It is, I believe, around 1 p.m. right now. And um, yeah, I just put this on probably about an hour ago. I will have everything that I used and all my makeup details on my Instagram page. That's where I'm at most of the time. That's my main platform. So definitely follow me on there because that's where I keep you guys mainly updated about anything that happens with me. Recently, the other day, I had an impersonator account. So that was a royal pain in the ass to deal with. But I handled it. I caught her, got her handle, and handled that shit. So anyways, that's not at all I'm just going off on tangents, left, right, top. Let's get to talking about this foundation. So I got the shade Natural Beige and I will do a swatch, but before I do, here is the actual bottle. I'm trying to make it so you don't see my ugly nails. It does have a pump. I don't know why this surprised me, Probably from the concealer, I do have the, the uh, sculpting multi-use concealer. Yep, that's it. So I think I was thinking of that, and maybe since the Tarte, they made the Shape Tape into a foundation and did a doe foot applicator, I just, for some reason, assumed, even though I've seen many foundation reviews on this foundation, but 
I definitely was interested. I have the original Born This Way and I've had it for a really long time and unfortunately it doesn't match me. It's not a good color match at all. It is way, way, way too yellow for me. I have more of an olive uh, neutral undertones. So I got natural beige and I'd say it matches pretty darn well. It's definitely not too um, yellow or orange or anything like that. I think it matches my body pretty well. And then let's just do a little swatch. So mine this, I was trying to test which shade of nude lipstick I wanted to wear. So it's a very runny consistency. As you can see there, it's almost kind of sliding down my arm. But I will have to say that for, I know it looks really dark right there, but obviously you can see this is more of my skin tone, not this. But as you can see, it's a very, very, very thin formula. I do like the formula. I did find, and by the way, I always use a brush. I never use a sponge, like ever. I just, I just don't like sponges. I used a, a, little, 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 little. a flat top kabuki brush, like I always do. And I used my YSL primer that I had been loving. I felt like I had to work really fast with this foundation. I felt like it dried really easily and possibly because it's so thin of a consistency that it doesn't have a whole lot of that moussiness to easily spread. I have had it on, like I said, about an hour or so and I love the coverage. I just put on one layer and that was enough for me. I do like full coverage. I do like the matte. I have some hyper pigmentation and some acne scarring a little bit here. So it did a great job of just covering that up. And I definitely say that it, it definitely feels Thin. It doesn't feel like you're wearing a whole lot of foundation, but I wouldn't say undetectable. I definitely feel like I put foundation on, you know what I mean? So, so far so good. And we're just going to see. It says that it's oil free, oil controlling, waterproof, transfer resistant. So I want to try all of that stuff out. And so I'll just pop back in in a few hours and we can see what I look like. And I might have to go puppy sit. I'll enter a picture of Junior. My mom got a Shih Tzu and he's just, he's just so cute. I want to surprise you guys and get this video and my review of this foundation up because I just, I don't know. I feel this rewarding part of me that my videos are seen more. You guys are more active. You guys are watching more. At least that's what my analytics are telling me. And it's just exciting. It pushes me and it makes me want to get out more content. So I'm just excited and now I'm rambling, but let's get back to my face. So I haven't touched up, I haven't nothing. And all I did was change. I went on a walk with the pups, walked around, and I've been working, nothing too strenuous. I've been testing out a lot of stuff for you guys lately, so I always like to get other people's opinions too, especially my mom when I can because she knows me so well. Obviously, she gave birth to me at one point in time, a few years back. And um, yeah, she said that she likes it. It looks good, but that it looks a little drying. So I definitely do agree with her, like especially right here. 
I do tend to get a little dry even though I'm oily in my T-zone. Um, sometimes, especially like summertime right now, I find that, you know, even combo oily skin, I kind of just, my skin just like sucks up foundation. But I do, I do like the way it feels. I will say it doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel tacky. I don't think it oxidized a whole lot at all. So, I mean, I don't love it. Like, I love the Shiseido foundation. That was the last foundation I fully reviewed. So I'll go ahead and link that for you guys if you haven't checked out that one. And then I've also done my favorite foundations. So, um, I don't, I'm not quite sure about this at this point in time. I really want, and it's not even out yet, but a lot of people have gotten it for PR. Uh, the new NARS matte one is coming out on the 1st of September, so just a few days. Can you believe it's the 1st? I love doing these reviews, and you guys seem to love them, but I just, I wish that I worked with some more brands and I could get things a little quicker, so hopefully... You know, this is just the beginning of my journey on YouTube. So you guys make sure to subscribe. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked this little wear test. I'll keep you guys updated on Instagram. I really do want to try the new NARS when it comes out. So I'm just kind of waiting. I'm going to give this a go a few more times. If I don't love it, I think what I'll do is exchange it for the NARS so that I can at least review and try that. I just don't feel like this is revolutionary. I don't feel like it's anything too different to where it replaces my favorites, which for right now are the Dior, the new forever, new-ish, new-er, the Dior forever matte and the Shiseido self-sinking skin refreshing makeup, that one. I'm really excited to try the NARS, although I think at least from what I've seen and heard, I think it might be pretty similar to this as in I know it's a thin consistency, which to be honest, I prefer, I feel like it blends a lot easier that way. If you have a really thin formula, then you're fighting either what I use, which is just my wrist. There's something about consistency with me with foundations that I find the a little bit thicker, almost moussey type ones seem to give a more seamless airbrush finish to the face. But I did enjoy this. I definitely will say that it looks like I just put it on. However, it was drying when I first put it on. So that's just my opinion. Take it or leave it. And take me or leave me. Actually, you guys don't have a choice. I have to leave you. But I love you. Make sure to check out my last video. It's a giveaway. You don't want to miss it. So definitely take a look at that and follow me on Instagram. And I will see you guys in my next video. I love you. literally the girl that and I still am the girl that you know no anyone no yeah yeah I don't know undetectable <laughs> I fell into that